Women from all walks of life stormed the Lagos State House of Assembly in a peaceful protest, demanding an immediate passage of all the gender bills. This comes as the world marks the International Women's Day with the theme Gender Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow. The leaders of the protest insist that women have been denied certain positions in the country for a while, calling for an affirmative action on 35% of representation in the House of Assembly and the National Assembly. No, that my name is not Bosse. <coughs> we manifest to join us. I'm not Bosse. You know they're not sincere. It doesn't matter how much they smile, how white they. The purpose of this rally is to let the National Assembly know that the times where women are seeking permission, writing letters, after all the lobbying, after all the research, after all the white paper, after all the analysis, yet they still voted no. So now we are no longer asking for permission. We no longer care about your approval. We are taking our power back because it's a power that was bestowed on us. Woman rights or women's rights is human rights. And if you really care about Nigeria, you would care about the rights of women. You can't have a society where, two, where the two genders don't function to the best of their ability. How then do you appreciate and actualize the full potential of your country? You can't. Well, we're campaigning for our 35% or 40%. We have been doing this for many years now. And then we're not where we're supposed to be yet. All over the world, women are screaming to be heard. You may want to be in charge of certain positions, but we are not, we're not allowed to do so. Whenever you come out with men to compete, you know, somehow you're always left behind or they frustrate you, they bully you, they threaten you. I just finished an election in Ekiti, a governorship election. We were nine women and uh, end of the day, I was the only woman that contested against six men and they only gave me one vote. I'm not upset about the one vote, but at least I started and I crossed the finish line. So more women need to come out. We need to come out. We need to keep pushing forward until we get to the destination where we want to be. What we are requesting for is that, number one, affirmative action. At least 35% of representation in the House of Assembly, in the Senate, in the House of Rep, even in the Executive Council must be given to women. There are so many women in Nigeria who are capable and able to represent the women interests. Look at Odkonjo Oweala. She's a woman. There are so many, there are so many women in Nigeria who can, who can fill in that position, even if only Nigerians or the, the, those who are, in, who, who, are, who, are, who are there will look out for them. As part of activities to mark this year's International Women's Day, some women in Edo State have asked for an urgent review of the gender-related bills. These bills were recently rejected by the National Assembly. They describe such a move as a dehumanization of Nigerian women and vow to continue to push until their demand is met. Some people believe women didn't do enough in pushing for the actualization of the 35 affirmative action. 2019 presidential and national assembly elections to the Senate and House of, House of Representatives, out of the nine, nine around 12 million eligible voters, the turnout was over 67 percent, which was the highest turnout ever recorded with higher, higher participation of women than men. We, women are number one. Now women are born governor, are born president, are born, are born Oba. So they're not supposed to reject women. You understand me? Women are number one from anywhere, any nation. Now women. So you know, women they use they use and they press us down. If you even look at the house, the National Assembly, you will discover that there's no equality. The house is majorly filled up with men, and I believe that most of these men don't even believe in the women. Actually, I must uh, say that um, the Nigerian women are not ready for political office in this country. I believe as we mark this International Women's Day, this should be a clearer, clarion call for all Nigerian women to sit up. Just imagine when all this blame, accusation and counter-accusation 
against the National Assembly that the women were being marginalized, that they were being discriminated, that they are being relegated. To me, it's uncalled for. The day that they are supposed to mobilize themselves to the National Assembly, for them to ensure that the, 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 this 35% uh, percent, uh, affirmative uh, action, uh, rights action, uh, declaration for women is being approved. That day, the whole wives of the president of the governors, that is the states of Nigeria, and some critical women uh, stakeholders, they took a chartered flight to Dubai. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.